friends. Welcome to Children's Church. I'm Kevin. And I'm glad you came and joined me today. Today we're going to we're going to share what's in my bag. And that's the most important thing we're going to talk about today is sharing. And we're going to look and see what's in my bag soon. But first, let's all gather together because because uh, we are the church and I'm going to show you a special little thing you can do it with me together and it's called we are the church so you take your hands and you wrap your knuckles like this and then you close them and you put your thumbs like this and so you go here's the church and here's the steeple open up the doors and see all the people And we are God's people, you and me. And God is with us no matter where we are or what we do or what time of day it is. And so today in Children's Church, we're going to talk about sharing something important. Maybe you share, um, maybe you share a room with a brother or sister, or you share um, a, a a house with maybe your grandparents or maybe it's just you and your parents but you do stuff together and you share time together and you share meals and part of that is love and so today in in children's church we're going to talk about sharing God's love but first we're going to pray So we're going to pray now, and we're going to share God's love a little bit more. So I'm going to say a prayer, and you can you can share it. you can share it with me, and we'll say it together. Okay. So let's let's put our hands in prayer, and we'll bow our heads, and I'll leave room for for you to say it with me. Dear God, thank you for sharing your love with us. You share your love by creating our world. You share your love by creating me. Help us to share your love with everyone we meet and everything in creation. We pray this in the name of Jesus, who came and shared the teachings of your love. Amen. So now we're going to have our Bible story. And I'll get some stuff out of my bag, and we'll, we'll have that now. So today in our Bible story, Jesus is talking about sharing God's love. And I have, a, I have a statue of Jesus here, and you see he's got a lamb. And so, and because uh, he was known as the Lamb of God. And, but that's, an, that's for another day. And so, but today... We're going, to, we're going to hear a story how Jesus taught his friends about God's love. And so Jesus says that loving is the most important thing we do. And Jesus said this to his friends. But who should we love? asked Mary. Yeah, said Peter. We just can't love everybody. We can, Peter, said Jesus, but it's hard. So why don't we sit down on the grass and, we'll, and I'll tell you some things about love. Will God help us love people that are hard to love, asked Mary. 
For sure, said Jesus. When someone does something that you don't like, try this. Don't do or say anything for a little bit. Just breathe. Breathe in and out a few times. Then in your mind, ask, God, what should I do? Then breathe in and out a few more times. God will put an idea in your head. And that idea may be to go and talk it over with some other people. And you know something else? Jesus looked around at his friends. When you give away lots of love, you'll find that it all comes back to you. When you give love away, you will always find that you have more love than when you started. But what about if they laugh at you? asked Peter. What if they say you're stupid and just walk away? Or maybe even hit you? I didn't say it was easy, Jesus said. And it may take a long time, maybe years, before they stop acting that way. But you keep trying over and over and over again. And it's a good thing to talk to God about it. Talk to God in your prayers. That way you'll become a stronger per person each time th that you show that kind of love. So that's our Bible story for today. So Jesus is telling us that we should go out and try to show God's love in everything we do. Yes, some people might not accept it, and some, might, some people might act kind of bad to us, but we shouldn't stop trying to show God's love in everything we do. So now we will have a song by Celia and Cecilia. So enjoy. So now it's time for our craft. And we're going to talk about God's love. And I'll get this, what we need out for that. And so I got it out of my backpack, my trusty bag. And I put my bag over here. So what do we do for God's love? How do we, how do we show God's love? Well, we share, we care, we forgive, we help, we pray, and we love. Those are the most important things. And so I'll send you this coloring page that you can color. But for our craft today, we need two, two pages that have all these words. And so they're going to look like this. And so they've got hearts on them with the words help, pray, love, share, care, and forgive. And so what we're going to do is we're going to string these these words together and make kind of um, a garland that you can hang up on your wall and it'll remind you that um, that's how we how we show God's love to people okay and so we're going to do that craft now
So we're going to make our garland today. And so what you're going to need, of course, you're going to need the papers with the words of God's love. And so we need those. And you're going to need some string or some yarn. And so you're going to want to, you're going to want to, uh, um, maybe as wide as, as wide as you can put your two hands out. And so that'll be the, That'll be the length that we need, or we can make it. We can make it a little shorter. How's this? We'll make it about about the width of our shoulders, or just a little bit beyond that. And we're going to need some scissors and some coloring, some coloring pencils, and maybe a, a pencil sharpener if uh, if they, your your uh, if your pencil crayons are, are a little bit dull like mine were, and so I had to sharpen them up. So first of all, you want to cut your string, and you're going to have to get some scissors. Now, make sure you get um, maybe your parents can help you. If um, um, just I don't want to, uh, just safety first. We don't want anybody getting hurt. So, so we'll cut a piece of string, and then what we do, if you want, what I've done is I've colored all my pieces, and so so they're all they're all set up. They're all ready with the and I colored the different, different the words and the and the hearts so they're all ready to all ready to go, so 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 color those first and then cut them out and we're going to need we're going to need something to punch a hole because we want to put these on so if you have a hole punch at home you can do that. And, uh, and, and and that's one thing I forgot. I'll get it right now and uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get that we'll get that and make sure that we have them for, for our string. okay. So I punched all my holes. I got my hole punch. Um, and if you don't have a hole punch at home, um, maybe get your parents to help you um, with, with just something to even a sharp pencil to just put a hole through. And so once we've done that, then we just string our words, our, our hearts full of words, full of love. And when we share and we care. And we forgive. And we pray. And we help. So once you've got all yours on your string, you can Tie it and tie the two ends together. Make a knot. And there. And we've got our different words. And we can hang it up wherever you want to hang it. And it reminds us how we share God's love. I hope you enjoyed our craft today. And so when you're all finished and you can hang this up someplace where you'll always see it, and maybe in your room, a special place in your room, that it'll remind you how we how how we share God's love. And also I will send you I will send you this picture that um, that you can color as well. And there's a border you can color and you can put that up on your wall as well. And I will send you this picture of Jesus sharing God's love to everyone, to the whole world. And so you have some, uh, have some coloring to do ahead of you. And so I hope you enjoyed our craft today. Okay, so when I'm 
praying the Lord's Prayer, especially when I'm praying alone, although I really have to stop myself in front of people because it's such a, such a great way to pray, I do it with, with actions. So this is how I pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So I want to thank Cecilia and Celia for singing with for us today. And I hope you joined in and sang along. And I want to thank Celia for the Lord's Prayer. And I hope you enjoyed praying along with Celia in that. And we that's one way we share God's love as we pray together. And so I I want to share God's love with you, that um, you keep sharing God's love with everyone you meet. And just to let you know that I will email you um, some coloring pictures and I'll share with, share, share, share with you this one that has all the important words of God's love. And I will send you a picture of Jesus sharing his sharing God's love for all over the world and I will also share the template for all the hearts for our craft today with all the important words so you can make a string of God's love you can put up in your room and uh, that way you remember how we share God's love and so but I'll put these all back in my bag for now and that way it keeps them safe but let's let's share again let's share God's love in prayer so join with me put your hands together and we will pray okay let's pray dear God thank you for sharing your love help us to share love this week with our family with our friends, with our neighbors, with each other. Help us to share love no matter where we are at any time of the day. We thank you for the love shared in Jesus who came as God's love. And it is in his name we pray. Amen. And before we go, we're going to say, say, here's church again together. So let's wrap our knuckles together like we did at the first. And then we form, we close the door and we form, 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 put our thumbs together and say it, say it with me. Here's the church and here's the steeple. Open up the doors and see all the people. Close the doors and listen to them worship and pray. Open the doors and watch them as they go and they share God's love today. So go out and share God's love with whoever you meet. And until next time, I thank you for coming again today. And we'll see you again. Bye.